Hello, my name is Dr. Nish Sonwalkar and today I'll talk about Bloom's taxonomy and how we need to upgrade that for creating new personalized learning systems. Let's talk about Bloom's taxonomy. If I go to a conference and ask educators, have you heard about Bloom's taxonomy? I almost get 100% response that they all have heard about Bloom's taxonomy. This taxonomy, uh, which was created by Benjamin Bloom in 1956, came into being as part of uh, the committee that was formed by Benjamin Bloom to talk about educational uh, objectives. And so they set out to create a classification of certain verbs as well as actionable items that would lead to uh, attaining an educational outcome. And that's what uh, the 1956 publication said. It was a handbook for the creation of uh, learning objectives and outcomes so that uh, a clear definition and classification can be created for teachers and educators and instructional designers so they can design their classes. There were three factors which they looked at and they were cognitive factors, effective fact factors and also psychomotor. So the thinking there was knowing, feeling and doing. So those were the three elements of the Bloom taxonomy uh, which uh, really defined what activities and lessons uh, plan should be created so that student can reach certain learning objective reaching to a certain goal in uh, uh, acquisition of the knowledge and meeting that uh, learning objectives which can be evaluated and demonstrated uh, by various uh, assessment methods. Now Bloom's taxonomy has survived almost 50 years since its inception and what we see that in the origin of uh, the text which Benjamin Bloom and the committee wrote was essentially influenced by some of the thinking process of uh, John Dewey where he had defined uh, the library systems and numeric order in which you can do classification of uh, the library systems. <clears throat> and the second thought which was influential at that time was uh, about uh, behaviorism uh, based on the research of B.F. Skinner and some of the underlying principles of operant conditioning. So the idea of Bloom's taxonomy was by doing cognitive, uh, effective, as well as uh, uh, psychomotor activities to get a student to come up with certain educational uh, behavior and modifying their behavior to learn certain new concepts. And that's where uh, the emphasis was a lot on memorization and uh, interpretation of the facts that you memorize and learn and then uh, you can express them uh, by comprehension, uh, application, as well as some of the other activities which were included in that. Now, we are talking in 2012. Uh, it is a very different world that we live in and there are a lot of different psychomotor skills are now developed as well as the taxonomy itself for learning has changed quite a bit. We are talk, talking about a hyper-connected world where uh, we have to now redefine the taxonomy which has served well for 50 years but now it's getting to the place where it becomes antiquated in the process of uh, uh, the personalized learning system or adaptive learning system that we are talking here. So in case of uh, the Bloom's taxonomy based models uh, and as you know that later on in the recent years the Bloom's taxonomy is more and more used for assessment side rather than the education side or the learning side. And that's why when we talk about personalized learning now we need completely different taxonomy where we can define different learning strategies like apprentice, incidental, inductive, deductive, and discovery based learning strategies. But for each strategy, then we need to define a consistent, logically created and internally consistent taxonomy which will define each learning strategy. So for example, if you talk about uh, apprentice learning where you have step-by-step uh, -step learning as the dominant mode between teacher and mentor relationship, then those step-by-step -step learning procedures 
have to have its own taxonomy which will say here is a step this is what you do these are the actionable items these are the verbs that you are going to use to come up with apprentice learning similarly if you go to the other extreme on discovery based learning then you have to solve puzzles you have to be in a interactive environment highly augmented reality environment and that the taxonomy will be completely different it will be about interaction at the games level the interaction that leads to to certain level of understanding and then going to the next level of challenge so it's more based on the puzzles and challenge based taxonomy so while we completely understand the need for classification of the learning goals or educational goals and the learning outcome that we are looking for in today's online learning environment it's very important that we use a new uh, taxonomy for online education in specific personalized education so i will suggest that while we uh, use the bloom's taxonomy for assessment side and uh, and some of the creation of the lesson plan what we have to now come up with a new taxonomy for adaptive learning system which is very specific to the learning strategies thank you